that now she or probably, that but she, well maybe it's so like if I maybe I can go back if you want if you want you're already up here dude yes. okay okay all right all right Anyways, uh, my name is Adam Kruger, and before, yeah, yeah. Uh, before I present, uh, I'm the director of what you're about to see, and before I present that to you, I felt obliged to say something about it, in part because uh, the words were written for me, um, <laughs> but more importantly, because there's something important to be said, um, and if you don't know who's saying this, uh, you may, I've been in DYOT for a few years, you may have seen me in a few of the more memorable sketches, like the one where, uh, I had to jump Springfield Gorge, and um, there was another one where my, my kid's sister, Lisa, um, she was moved up to the Great House, and that was shenanigans ensued, I can tell you. Then, then there was one about the, the, uh, the, the monorail. Uh, <laughs> actually, those, those were all just old Simpsons. I just was too drunk to actually remember what I was saying. Uh, the props, no. uh, but anyways, th th this is about me. This is about Mike and Anuja in their words and their message, and it's important for everyone to hear because it's a story about a tragedy that's happening in this very country right now, about an oppressed and unrepresented, uh, an unrepresented group of people and that terrible things are happening to them on a very daily basis. And I hope that this place speaks loud and clear to you so you may feel inspired to do something about it. Uh, but that's all for me. What you're about to see then is their side of the story, and it's called 79. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. That was a great intro, but we still need to, to announce everybody. Uh, uh, um, that was at Adam uh, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Oh, 
Spence. Coach. You know what? <laughs> no, you know what? For some reason, you have it in your puny little head that everyone is created equal. But that's just not true. No one is treated equally like they should be. There are women in this country and across the world who are still fighting for equal rights. There are so many disadvantages that we have as a woman. And you think that you have an opinion as a straight white man to express it about women and their experiences? And I guess you just can't get over that, can you? You know what? <laughs> Yell, your nose gets a little scrunchy, and it is just so cute. <laughs> hey, geez. Oh, looks like Hillary Clinton's up in the polls again. Did you know that she has cankles? Oh, gross. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Tell me more. Woo me with your knowledge about fucking cankles. <laughs> Well, Urban Dictionary defines <laughs> cankles as an area on an affected woman's legs, which is where the calf and the foot come together, all right, at an abrupt and non tapered terminus. They fucking hate you! Look, I don't make the rules, all right? So, if you're not voting for Hillary, who would you vote for? Bernie Sanders? Oh, no, 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 no. That guy's a joker. Uh, my name is Bernie Sanders. <laughs> and when I go to the Baba, I just have them take out the top 1%. <laughs> <laughs> you you <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. I hate that guy. Oh, thank God. Yeah, no, I'm not crazy. I'd never vote for that Zodiac Killer Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Arche, who would you vote for? Well, you know, it's not even like I can vote in my uh, current situation. Uh, you know, I'm kind of like women before the 19th Amendment, although I didn't cause the Great Depression. So, <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, if I was to vote, I, uh, I don't really have a problem with making America great again. <laughs> Are you serious? Look, uh, uh, all right, he's a little bit of an outlier, okay? But, you know, he, he tells it like it is, you know? And we need a real street shooter in, in the White House, you know? Yeah, all right, so sometimes he says some things that are a little off-color, all right? But you know, he's not afraid to piss off some people, you know? And, and I think that that's how he's become such a great businessman. D did you know that he has his own university and his own stakes, and he's married three supermodels? You are unreasonable! I could just kill you! <laughs> Change is a really good thing, and 
You know what they say, don't be a dollar wise and a petty foolish, right? Um, I'm going to go then. Uh, bye. Yes. 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 You know what? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> she got you. Who got me? Who are you? Where did you come from? That feminazi that gave you the 79 cents. <laughs> That's not important, all right? That woman was clearly a feminazi, okay? You can just tell when you look at them, all right? No makeup, you know, frumpy clothes, air of entitlement, you know, and, uh, you know, self-importance. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? You know what? <laughs> I bet that there's two sides to that whole Chris Brown story. Oh, you know, we don't really know what Rihanna said to him to, to make him react like that. You know, I am sick of the men in this country getting the short end of the stick. Okay? We get blamed for everything. Jesus. <laughs> Whatever. You're creeping me out. What are you even doing here anyway? Just taking up the torch for the downtrodden. <laughs> Uh, what, what did you really need that change for, though, anyway? Oh, yeah, I was going to go to the vending machine by the bathroom and grab a coat so I could take a pic from my Snapchat copy. Oh, well, that's, that's a good idea. You should get a coat and we should share one, you know? Uh, we've got a lot to talk about. I mean, I'll bet I have a lot of things to say. You know, I look like someone who has stuff on his mind. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm actually meeting my boyfriend here. He's going to ask me a prom. <coughs> Worry about that. See, you're actually the only one that can see me. I'm kind of a spirit. Okay, psycho. Whatever. I gotta go. Uh, it's not that easy, sweetheart. Um, that feminazi that gave you the 79 cents? Yeah, uh, she got you. Um, that money's actually enchanted, so whoever possesses that money rightfully, I'm gonna be in their mind. And, you know, you're gonna have to give that to someone else, much like she did. You know, she was very deceptive. Typical women. <laughs> hey, you know what? Give it a try. Try and run in any direction whatsoever. You know, I will still be in your head by your side. Fine. You know what? I'm actually pretty sure Jesus was white. <laughs> you know what? Your form is truly awful. That is not how anyone should be running anywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> You know what? We could make a huge wall to keep the Mexicans out. <laughs> what do you have to do to get rid of you? Why do you people keep asking me that? What do you mean, you people? Oh, was that not PC? Sorry. Uh, you know, we're all humans. We shouldn't be so divided. We should all be on the same side. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, it, you see it everywhere, right? You go, you go on the social media, you go on the face space, you go on the Twitter, you see it everywhere, all right? Hatred and ignorance. Oh my God, you are so right. Okay, so my friend, she posted on Facebook just the other day. Oh, but you know what? I'm so glad you agree. I'm so glad that you share my perspective. You know, I'm so sick of this hatred of white males out there. You know, it's always white man privilege this, feminist that. You know what? You know who doesn't work harder? You know who works harder than absolutely everyone? The white men. You know, they work 40 hours a week just to support their family. And they go home and they just want to have their life, give them a little TLC. But you know what they get instead? They get some speech about how hard it is for them out there. Oh, God. You know, women actually work less. That's why they make more, you know, 79 cents to the dollar, right? They're like teachers. Teachers don't even work three months out of the year, you know? They're not worried about having to get a real career or being a breadwinner. Well, I guess we put it that way. Okay, 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 I cannot leave a good conscience. Listen, little girl, the money that I gave you that changed, it was cursed. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, that's a little harsh, all right? I prefer the term enchanted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm 
I'm really, really <coughs> sorry. I shouldn't have just left with that without telling you who he was, giving you some sort of warning. All right, I was a little freaked out at first, but not that bad. Yeah, and Batman vs. Superman should be nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Martha! That was a great movie. <laughs> Way too much fun. We're all human. Yeah, and, and you know, the woman has actually overtaken the male on the societal food chain. Right. We're practically a minority. Yeah. Alright, the woman's overtaking the men on the societal food chain. No, no, uh, give me, give me court. I'll deal with this. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you're right, here we go! What were you just talking about? Nothing, uh, <laughs> Just, you know, weather, politics, uh, the ideal gas law. Uh, 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 what it's like to live in an imbalanced uh, society, you know, uh, it's a whole end uh, movie. Hey, did you see Mad Max at all? Yeah, and it was fan fucking tastic. This society is imbalanced in your favor. <gasps> you have no idea what it's like to carry the white man's burden. <laughs> Bye. 